Um, on a new canoe, the motor mount on the Quick Connect Mountain Control System has a string that comes right up through the curved part on the motor mount. That connects to a spring on the end of a, uh, a ball. And once you pull this tight, and you do have to have a cleat here, you don't have to pull it very tight for that ball to release. Now I can use the pulley system to lift the motor. This is an aluminum sleeve that is connected uh, to the shaft. The other part you can use is a sleeve for a bicycle seat that you could get at a bicycle store. Um, this is a pulley system to pull the engine forward. If you look down at the bottom of this motor, this is an 80 pound uh, thrust, which weighs about 60. It's a monster and it performs like the 1103. But anyhow, this is the best example of how a pulley system works. You then connect it to a carabiner, then to a pulley. And if you look at the pulley, it's just big enough for the line. And this is the same line comes with the Newport vessels. It's anchored right here, comes up through the pulley, then down to a second pulley on a pad eye. I run it right along the inside of the gunnel. You're gonna have a knot here with a loop in it, so it's always gonna stay tight. But basically, look at the motor now. It's effortless to pull up. I'm hardly using from your seat. It's amazing. You're just gonna bring it up. You're gonna put it in the cleat. Uh, what Doc Lynn did is he tied a loop here and then he just would attach that to the track to uh, hold it as well. One point I need to make sure you understand, uh, the line from the top of the motor mount when you have this in the water, you need to release that line so it locks it in the down position. Then to remove the motor from the back end of your kayak, you're gonna take it off of the carabiner. You're gonna release the line going to the motor mount. And you're ready to store a motor.